Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon. And we have live action from the Cup to bring you. It's Alcorcón and they take on Rayo Vallecano. Well, I suppose at this stage in the tournament you can dream about the final, but an awful lot of football to be played, an awful lot of hard work, another step towards the final. I'm really looking forward to this one, Derek. The initial 11 today for the hosts. You know, many in the media have been talking quite loudly about their style of play and not everybody being kind about it. There are many who suggest it's negative. How do you see it, Lee? Well, listen, Derek, takes all types of play, different formations. Coaches try and adapt a system, soaking up the pressure, getting everybody behind the ball and hitting teams on the counter-attack is probably on the cards for this team today. Here's how it looks for Rayo Vallecano. It does rather look as though it's going to be a battle of the 4-5-1 formations in this game. Similar setups, Lee. Well, it looks lovely in the graphic, doesn't it? There's players everywhere. They have got the freedom to roam around the pitch how they see fit. There is some structure to it, but that lone striker up front needs support. Not only around him, but from wide areas of two. The supply line will come from the wide midfield players and maybe the overlapping fullbacks. And he really is danger personified, but in this game, Lee, what do you think we might see from him? Well, he's added goals to his wizardry. Will he get another goal today, a brace in his last match? Takes the shot! A goal! They've opened the scoring in the derby, and I'll tell you what, you can hear a pin drop in here. Well, here's the replay, and it's a great ball into the danger area. And the timing to get this spot on, yes, it needs a bit of luck, but boy, does it need skill as well. It's a brilliant goal. Good pass. Getting forward. Well, he has the measure of his opponent. That's not a bad ball. Lack of guile with regard to that cross. Goalkeeper's ball. And a chance for him on the flank. Oh, a nice looking pass. It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident and not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well, as we look at this again, what they always say, focus on the ball, ensure you strike it cleanly. He's done just that. What a finish. A chance to revisit the goal. And he's in. It has to be, surely. Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one-versus-one one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. So the corner played into the box. And making his move inside. The save was a good one. Well, he's given a corner, they referee.
played into the centre of the box. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. It was a nearly moment as it came back off the woodwork. But the goalkeeper has it now. Massive relief from the goalkeeper. He stood and watched and then it ended up in his hands. Read it well. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, quite simply, he hasn't been able to make his mark in attack in this game, Lee. Well, he's tried hard, Derek, I'll give him that, but his heart has ruled his head. Never clever enough today to find enough space to lose his marker. That's probably the major reason why they're losing this game. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Easy. Here's Alvaro Garcia. Easy. You know what? He's going to be annoyed with himself given the position he was in, Lee. Well, yeah, they worked it really well, didn't they? He's got in a position to score and not really took advantage of that. No, not the best challenge. Cross could be useful. And a goal! Not over just yet. Well, here's the replay, and it's a great ball into the danger area. And then the finish couldn't be simpler, really. Given far too much time and space inside the box, and he doesn't even have to get up in the end. Just nonchalantly heads it past the keeper. He's enjoying space. Teammates in the middle. Ball is loose. In it goes at the second time of asking. And the keeper feels hung out to dry. Well, as we see again, Derek, the keeper's there to make saves and he thinks he's done enough. But it just falls in the wrong place and his team are punished. Can they hit on the break? Can he do it? A counter-attack at pace, excellent football, and not so very far away. Well, in order to play like this, you do have to have speed in your team, and they have, and they weren't far off there, were they, Derek? Unable to find the back of the net and still a lot of work ahead of them here. Well, he'd probably be surprised if he scored from there, but it is worth an effort. Really a very poor ball. But attacking possibilities. Good-looking ball. There could be a chance now. Oh, it's gone in! And you have to feel for him now. It will go down as an own goal. Let's have a look at that again. All defenders look away. Nobody likes to see this. It's poor, you have to say, but it's important now that he puts his head back on and starts to concentrate on the rest of the game. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. And he takes it away. 
There's the final whistle, and the visitors move on. Well, sometimes, Derek, you learn more about your own team after a narrow win like that rather than thrashing a team. Good team effort, that. The coach will be pleased. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positively. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly well, looked really sharp, constantly playing on the shoulder of the last defender. A real handful.